Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018. This is Jennifer. Yesterday was nudge nine for Rainbow Cascade, and as you can see, my rainbow is definitely cascading. I have been working on seven or eight blocks at a time the last couple of times I've uh, worked on my Rainbow Cascade, and I wanted to show you guys kind of how I'm doing that. So I'm pre-cutting everything for, like this is for eight blocks. Once I'm ready to sew, I line those little stacks up, and then I number them all. So I have one through, like this, I, this one I was doing six at a time, so I have one through six, and then I number the pattern. So I number one through six, and that way I know I'm not mixing up my fabrics and I just keep little stacks. It's been working really well and I can get way more blocks done at one time and I just put on an audiobook or a documentary or something and then I just sew like crazy. So if you find yourself getting a little bit stuck just find something to entertain your ears while you're sewing and I you'll find it just it makes everything go a little bit faster. That is week nine of 14, so we are getting there, guys. We're getting there. We will finish Rainbow Cascade in April. So Saturday, I went to Linus, and we collected up and distributed blankets, as we always do every month. I did not, unfortunately, get any of my quilt tops quilted because my garage never got up above about 42 degrees, and I am kind of afraid to quilt with my Juki. Um, I don't really want to turn it on when it's that cold out there. So instead, I had some fleece. I had a fleece remnant that someone had donated uh, in December, and I surged the Edges of that and I embroidered all over it in white thread so it was like a pale gray sort of your traditional fleecy color fleece and then I embroidered butterflies and flowers on it so I turned that in unfortunately I got zero video because it was quite literally the midnight hour when I finished on Friday night but I did take a picture and I turned that in on Saturday and while I was at Linus on Saturday the very lovely Shelly gave me a stack of 12 blocks that she made last year as part of a honeybee quilt stores block of the month five at the hive Shelly had made the blocks and she said she you know she was giving them to me to make for a quilt top for Linus and I just just coincidentally was going over to sew at a friend's house after Linus on Saturday so I just put them together. I didn't even look at the blocks. I knew that they would all go together because they were part of block of the month so I just three across four down and just sewed them together. I haven't even pressed this yet. I just hung, hung it up today so you guys could see it. This is really the first time I've looked at it really closely because like I said I just sewed it together. I folded it up. I put it in my bag and I moved on to my next project. I did manage to get a new free pattern Friday out last week and guys I had so much fun designing this one. I had so much fun using it and I am hoping to see a whole plethora of these out there now that I've released the pattern. Um, this came from a doodle that's something I doodled over the holidays and the, the doodle looked like this. It doesn't look like much just a little sketch you know it's not not very high tech it's on a piece of re recycled paper but what this doodle turned into was this guy right here and I hope you can see that this is a uh, representative of a backside wearing jeans and this is a phone sticking out of the pocket and I put it in the left pocket specifically because that is is where my phone pretty much lives. As you guys know, I have a kid away in college. I don't have a landline, so I always have my cell phone on me. So anyway, this is my back pocket and it's free. You can find it on Sewhook, links to download from Google Docs or Craftsy. And I hope to see these in a plethora of colors. I just want to take a minute to thank my Patreon patrons. You are the reason I can keep doing Free Pattern Friday. Just a reminder that if you are not a member of the So Hooked Facebook group, sweet little prizes like this are the things you're missing. So make sure you join up, especially if you're quilting along or making Free Pattern Friday patterns. I give away prizes in return for you sharing pictures of the things you're making from my pattern. So make sure you check that out. There is a link in the description of this video. Just a quick reminder for everyone working on the special project. If you are working on it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it because this absolutely does not apply to you. If you're working on the special project and you have not gotten your blocks in the mail, please do. I have received six of the 14 sets of blocks I'm expecting. And I want to send out a special thanks to Wendy and Matt for providing the back fabric for this particular quilt. Wendy and Matt own the Broken Needle in Bunn, North Carolina. So if you guys have not visited their store, please do because they very generously shared this with us and for everyone working on this special project you know what a big deal this is. Quick reminder that Land Before Time the next post for On Phantom and Stitches will be tomorrow and we're moving along nicely there. I think Angel is doing a great job and we've had some really fun participation in that. I don't in any way want to overshadow what's going on on Phantom and Stitches with Angela's Quilt Along but I'm also having a Quilt Along hosted by Karen 
in the Project of Doom Facebook group. So if you want to quilt along with the Project of Doom, you might have heard a couple people mention that it's only in the Facebook group. I, it, I'm not in control of this. Karen is the boss. She is the deputy headmistress for this. She's the one taking care of all of this. If uh, Project of Doom is a thing you've wanted to make or you have one that needs to be picked up again and finished, then this quilt along is probably for you. One last tiny reminder that um, if you guys are thinking about going to Quilt Festival in Houston in November, that this year, instead of the first weekend in November, it's the second weekend in November. They have moved it this year. Also, we will be doing another Talk To Me Tuesday Phantom and Stitches So Hooked meetup. I am still thinking about that. I haven't decided when it's going to be. I probably won't decide until like August or September when, what day we will have it, what time, etc. But I am going to be there and with any luck, there will be other Talk To Me Tuesdayers and Phantom and Stitches people and So Hooked people and we will all be there and we will have a great meetup. So I'd love to do that again this year and I think that's going to be it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Have a crafty week. I hope to see your video and I'll see you next week. Bye.